So with them DT, some go. How's your vacation, man? Man, I enjoyed it. As it was refreshing, man. It was pretty spiritual. But I like to hear that. You like to hear that? I appreciate that, man. Now today, <clears throat> yeah, for me today. Today I'm feeling like Cher. I I wish I could turn back time. Now, and, and if you know, are familiar with the first story, you'll, you'll, under, you'll know why. I mean, um, we'll jump right into it. Did you hear this story, Magoo? Uh, about uh, the, the kid who was uh, murdered in, in Arizona? Uh, I mean, it's senseless. Let's get into it. According to the U.S. News, some people, now what are some people? It should say all people, honestly. Some people were calling for justice following the murder of black teenager Elijah Al Amin. Um, several people called for justice after the murder of 17 year old Elijah Al Amin in Arizona. The suspect, Michael Adams, reportedly told police that he decided to kill the teenager because he was playing rap music in his vehicle, which made him feel unsafe. Now, uh, the root went on the tweet. Um, Police charged an Arizona man with first degree murder after he allegedly killed a black teenager because the team's music was, quote, a threat to his community and made him feel unsafe. I just want to throw up. What, I mean, what do you, what do you, what's your comments on this story? Man, this is like, people like this, don't put him on their wall with shitty cuz, the guy who killed Nipsey Hussle, like, you're. His name should be Baby Shitty Cuz. Like, the worst is the worst, man. I mean, how can shitty people keep doing shitty things in. I mean. He made that up talking about he felt like This is. Uh, you listen, listen to rap music, so. Wow. It says that uh, Nicole Garcia, Fox 10, said uh, an update. Um, Family friends identified a 17-year-old victim as Elijah Alamin of Glendale. He was killed at the Peoria Circle K, a random victim of violence. 27-year-old Michael Paul Adams confessed to the murder. The scumbag told police that he did it because the team was playing rap music in his car. Um, there's not many words for that. Um, you know, justice, if, if this should be a... This should be a pretty much a lock. Why do we need need lawyers in this case? Just man, that's it's like you said. What do you need a lawyer for? Like they should have what they call a speedy trial. Don't pass go. Don't collect two hundred dollars. None of that. Like, he confessed. Uh, I don't think the reason he lies under any law. He gave so motives. He, he, he confessed. He gave motives. Did he think that that was on fire? Uh, you know, maybe. Police are gonna say, yeah, that rap music, man, that you were right. George, George Zimmerman wanna be, man. I think there was a kid who fell under a similar fate not too long ago in Florida, if I'm not mistaken. And it, I see his mother from time to time. Shout out to the victims of senseless violence. Um, you know, uh, rap music, it's a powerful thing, but um, it's not gonna be a good viable defense for uh, senseless murder. Moving on. Also, another about time type of story, if you know what I mean. It's about time that the law starts coming, catching up with some of these criminals who hide behind their billions of dollars in order to molest children. Oh yeah, that, that was um, a big deal today. Like, to say he's uh, friends with ex-president Bill Clinton and sitting no number 45 and he was on probation on, on top of that he's already on probation uh, he's a registered sex offender right so I mean there you go uh, according to US News yes. billionaire financier Jeffrey Epstein charged with sex trafficking uh, New York federal prosecutors unsealed a criminal indictment on Monday charging Jeffrey Epstein with sex trafficking conspiracy and sex trafficking underage girls. Epstein pleaded not guilty to the charges. Yeah, he's a... Uh, this clown, I mean, hopefully... You know what, what baffles me is like... You got, they got 
evidence that they're telling what they found and he goes in with a not guilty plea? Like, how does that work? So, let, let him fight it in court and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens there. But ABC News also says Jeffrey Epstein has been charged with sex trafficking and conspiracy according to the federal indictment until on Monday. Wealthy financier Jeffrey Epstein charged with sex trafficking. Uh, indicted. Well, you know, hey, um, if that was your daughter or my daughter, I know we both have children and we both have daughters. We want them to be protected from predators like this. Um, we have done other stories about other cases and I would like to uh, remind everyone that each case is different. This each is case, one of them cases of privilege. Each case has its own set of uh, circumstances and I, I would say that this is not the first I've heard of this type of thing in certain circles and certain uh, initiations and certain rites. And just to uh, see some I mean, of this. I, I hate to be that person, but seriously, like, you got physical evidence, current evidence. You give him, him more than one chance. He's a registered, registered sex offender. And slap him on the wrist, put him on probation, and boom, this happens. But you take somebody like Bill Cosby and someone accuse him 20, 30 years later. You don't have no physical proof and you kind of pretty much throw him under the jail. Like, no probation, no not. Like, first time, like, you got a registered sex offender. And I bet you he's about to be out on, on bail and, and all that. He got good lawyers, friends in high places. Like, where is justice? Like, and this, this is coming on the hills of the uh, Harry Weinstein um, incident where I mean I don't have a real update on that right now but the I mean too, the he, get him out of here basically take couch uh, uh, audition couch auditions and all that practice and get it get it out of here we don't need any of that if somebody has talent let them bring their talent to the forefront guys like this preying on people who are desperate to get into the industry this guy preying on underage women and you know uh, it also brings me back just to keep balancing the conversation to the Kobe Bryant situation and how if you don't keep yourself out of certain situations then you could be uh, a victim of someone with an agenda. So this whole thing is a touchy subject and I think in this case this guy's about to get what he deserves. I know one thing, pay attention to the legal teams of these type of people. People, right, good point. Nice point. Yeah, I, I agree. See who's representing. Well, you're always going to see Gloria Allred in certain circles, and a lot of times when I see her, I'm thinking. I, I'm just saying, shoot. When I get money, I'm knowing who. I'm gonna need to know who to go get when, like, they be coming up with dream teams. Like, pretty. I know a couple of fellas in the inner cities that can use these type of lawyers. Here. Yeah, I just wanna ball for the summer. I'm trying to ball. Put it hard to stay focused in the jungle. I'm trying to ball. I just wanna get some money, stay a hunter. But the concrete yeah. dog turned me yeah. to a monster. Yeah. Yeah. And magic coming straight out the dumpster. Yeah. Why you nigga 
was in class, I was in the field, I was in the field Just like these new Buddhas, I be too still Only time I switch is when I switch skills Only time I say the pet made it, it when it get here I bust down another roll in my second one this year I said I wasn't gon' buy it Magic coming straight out the dust, yeah. And the plug can smell the bullshit on you. One way. Now you gotta take them all for a hundred, yeah. But you say fuck them, yeah. gotta eat me, I go there, yeah. yeah. Don't you make me wipe your nose, I go there. Okay, yeah. Don't you make me, don't you make me, I go there. Yeah, yeah. Take your bitch, don't you make me, I go there. It's your boy Dub D3, and you're tuning to Brassy's Plum TV. I'ma pull on that nigga. Can't do both. I'ma pull that trigger while sitting in a two man set, two man fit, a two man hell. I don't even wanna think about who gon' bail or who don't sell. I'm just got somebody thinking about me living in jail. I'm so clear they build a rink around me living in hell. Some petty cases, you know, maybe they can get their lives rolling. But anyway, <clears throat> this next story is a is a give it up Trump story. I mean, it seems like we got a lot of give it up that, Trump that's stories coming. A, 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 a thing now, or that should be trending. Trending, give it up Trump. Now, I like I said, I'm not a Democrat or Republican, but if I'm from the outside looking in, and I see re-election season coming up, and I see President Trump going at it with Fox News, a right-wing president and a right-wing news station, basically at, at odds. It makes you think, what allies does he have left? No one wants to win a championship or even lose in the finals and go see Trump. No one <laughs> wants, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it's getting pretty ridiculous. Um, Trump speaks out. On Fox News, according to media, they tweeted, uh, Trump speaks out on Fox News' weekend anchors. So he's attacking the weekend anchors. But if you read this whole tirade, which we'll read some of it, this guy's going after every single network and he's running them down one by one. And I can't say I disagree with him on a lot of those points. But, uh, maybe we're going to go look at the weekday anchors. <laughs> They better, they better skate on some thin ice because Trump is coming. Now, President Trump criticizes Fox News on Sunday, calling out the news network's weekend reporting uh, at Fox News is changing fast, but they forgot the people who got them there. Ooh, whoa, 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 back up. Er, hit the brakes. Yeah, I see the, that. the people who got them there, what, what does he mean by that, Magoo? What, what do you see on that? He, I don't think Fox he got News. Him. I don't think he got them there. Do, is he? Is he? You know we. Had, you know number forty five is delusional. So so, least, so so could Trump embellishes a lot. When he's talking about a Fox News agency for getting who brought him there, could you say that he's targeting and trying to latch on and rattle the base of uh, middle aged white conservative uh, middle income and up? type of uh, the fan base of Fox basically he's pleading with them to hey let's get this network to whip them back in shape and get them behind the Republican candidate or is Trump throwing his last throngs of losing his last ally and basically just doing a desperate I think Trump's being Trump he's 45 being 45 get back <laughs> we'll just have no names oh five all right, now, he, he also goes on to say, it says, uh, The Hill said, Trump unleashes on Fox News. Now, he's not just unleashing on Fox News. Donald Trump, according to his Twitter, he's saying, now, this is coming from his uh, Trump finger temps. His T. You remember that old AT&T commercial, the yellow pages, the <laughs> This is coming from, I bet it's a whole bunch of orange things on his on his yeah, screen. Alright, it says watching Fox News Weekend Anchor is worse than watching the low ratings fake news at CNN or blind bullying Brian Williams. Remember when he totally fabricated a war story, tried to make himself into a hero and got fired? A very dishonest journalist and the crew of degenerates. Wait, and the crew of degenerate he left a dot dot dot, he wasn't done. He said Comcast slash NBC, MSNBC, Trump haters who do whatever Brian and Steve tell them to do, like CNN, NBC. This is the president talking. 
is also way down the grave. But as Fox News, who felt getting in a very boring damn debate, is now loading up with Democrats and even using fake unsourced a quote unquote source of information as the Times, what they paid for the Boston Globe and what they sold it for, lost 1.5 billion dollars. Look at that dollar. You see my little Because you see him doing that. He's going off. He's flowing bars. And their old headquarters building disasters and their unfunded liabilities at Fox News is changing fast, but they got the people got it. So more alienation for Trump. Hey, that's what gets you reelected, buddy. You keep on going right there. You stay right there, all right? And everybody in that one, I see thousand candidates right now because they know they got a chance to get a job. All right. Last words on that one before we get to did you know? Trump losing only ally in the game. Yeah, this, this one's right off the presses. It says, fact check. Trump gave a speech highlighting his administration's record on the environment. Here's what's true and what's not. <laughs> and what about that grand $2.5 million party that he threw? Uh, that now the park services for the rest of the summer are gonna lose that money in their budget. Yeah, I thought it was, I heard it was rained out partially, and I didn't, I haven't heard nothing about the whole. So, so did they, the money get? I have no clue what happened. I don't know if it was a success, but let, let them tell it. I can, I'll bet you money. Let the 45 administration tell it. The success is the most attended. Uh, 4th of July spectacle ever in the president of the nation. Let's look at the flower cash of the money. 2.5 million people left. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. Did you, did you know? Now, this is an NBA story because, like I said, the NBA free agent season just pop a lock and I don't know what's going on in the NFL or in baseball. I have no idea. All I've been on is trying to figure out where where Kawhi was gonna go, what a disappointment. But I do see the rebirth of Michael and Scotty with Kawhi and Paul George. And they have Patrick Beverly and some other guys like Zubat protecting the rim. They bringing back Lou Williams. They're, uh, um, they're gonna be a tough squad to deal with defensively. Also the Lakers, shout out, we got uh, DeMarcus Cousins, we signed him. Um, I don't really care for because I compare him to J.R. Smith that one year. Well, we got Danny Green, we got Rondo back. Um, so I, I think we got Kuzma, we kept Kuzma, and he was a healthy one of that possible trade of the youngster. So uh, Ingram was the blood clots, and you had uh, um, the other guy. But I think that Kuzma was the keeper, so we got him. Um, you got Jimmy Butler, he's going to be going to the Miami Heat. Um, I don't know if that's a good fit, but Jimmy wanted his own uh, show, so there he goes. Uh, I see an eighth to ninth seed coming. Um, you got, uh, what else we got? Now, getting into the did you know, this is pretty awesome right here. Following the footsteps of uh, Michael going to 45, Kobe changing from uh, 8 to 24, LeBron going from 23 to 6 and then back to 23 and then changing back to 6. Now, following those footsteps, Brooklyn found Kevin Durant, according to NBA. They tweeted switches from number 35 to lucky number 7. So Durant's going to be wearing 7. That's going to be pretty sweet. Now, you got a, a superstar forward announced he will be wearing number 7 for the Brooklyn Nets. He's switching numbers after wearing number 35 with Seattle Seahawks, Supersonics, uh, Oklahoma City Thunder, and the Golden State Warriors. Now, Golden State, in an unprecedented move, which was followed up by uh, the Memphis Grizzlies doing the same thing for uh, the other kid, point guard. But they're going to retire the number 35 in Golden State. Up in the rafters. Nobody from Golden State were 35. KD was that cold. And a lot of people think they're doing that to make up for their mistake for the basketball. Um, hey, you know, that's, this is like the NBA, but uh, outside of like the NBA, what that KD like? KD says, and it's no, no, no more trade fives or sevens. <laughs> KD says, but as I start this new trap, new chapter in my basketball life. The number I'll be wearing on my back is the number seven. Next time you see me on the floor, one time, Brooklyn. Hey, 
Much respect to KD. And also, uh, we can't get out of here without our second part to Did You Know? Because uh, I think that's going to be one of the coldest Batman and Robins out there. Along with DeAndre Jordan and the other players they have. LeBert and all those guys on Brooklyn. And that's going to be tough. And he's, uh, Kyrie Irving for the NBA makes his position on the Nets official. Brooklyn posted on the uh, posted a photo of the former Celtics signing his contract. Now, um, this squad, there's so many super squads right now. This next NBA season, I can't wait. And you know what else I can't wait for? I can't wait to read the comments on the bottom of this video because our subscribers are the best in the world. And they've been picking up and it's been climbing. Appreciate you, subscribers, uh, especially all the new ones. Uh, had, by the way, get one moment and go ahead and give him a quick shout out. Actually, um, let's get there. We got uh, one shout out to Jay Sean and Don. That was within the last four hours, actually. What's up, uh, Jay Sean and Don? Uh, let's see. We got uh, say what's up to Keith G. What's up, Keith? Uh, the G. The Saturday. Okay, okay, it's my dog. Um, we got Alejandro with the Cinte Rodinas. Okay. okay. It says Latinos and Latinas out there. Appreciate you guys subscribing. Stay tuned. We got a whole lot more to come. Uh, different outlets, different um, things we're going to bring to you to see how you guys like it. Um, that's what's up. Hey, you know, we got a, a good comment I wanted to, uh, I wanted to read. It said, uh, where are we at? He said it's easy instrumentals. He had a nice comment. And uh, he said patience is key and consistency is the main play in success and growth. You know, with deep comments like that, we read them and it makes us think, it encourages us. And hey, we want you to leave the next comment. Uh, shout out to our great supporters out there, Henry Butler, uh, Michael Harrison. Um, you guys, without you guys, show wouldn't be possible. My, my co-host Magoo, he's the best in the biz. This is your boy Dub D. Hey, uh, by the way, uh, I did mention at the top of the uh, hour, at the top of the segment, that you were just getting back from vacation. No, okay, I, we're gonna. I, I, I was looking at your Instagram. I'm trying to uh, find it again. Hey, what are you doing? WD3, little black guy. Oh yeah, I could have did it that way. <laughs> yeah, you had some fun down there on your vacation. Seeing that you was in Texas and you got a chance to see Jill Scott. And yeah, um, you know, went down there for the weekend and representing the eight cats out there. Went and saw uh, Jill Scott. Got a chance yeah, to the medieval check out the medieval times. I, the, I checked that out in uh, LA when I was a, a, a young student. Oh, yeah, they put on a great show. Shout out to them. First class all the way. Uh, you know, we were at the, uh, I believe it was a Canvas Hotel rooftop, swimming pool, having a great time. Uh, definitely with a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, my co-star with the All Day video, Miss Nikki Perez, beautiful actress, beautiful bu businesswoman, um, love everything about her. Now, also, we were able to see that Jill Scott is just more than uh, more than a performer. She has a very loyal following. People who, and we did see Faith Evans. Uh, Faith Evans, shout out to her. She did a great performance. Uh, Tweet was also opening. She was in for that thing. Jill Scott. So, um, everybody was great down there in Dallas at the Toyota Music Factory. Um, we were, we were rep like I said, representing Tulsa in a great way. And uh, we decided to, to, to cast an all day. We we're gonna uh, make sure we celebrated our, our success and um, just celebrated everything that Dallas had to offer and represent Tulsa, of course. Any last words before we get out of here, Goop? Nah, we're just gonna keep doing it. No pun intended. We're gonna keep bringing it to you, letting you know what Oklahoma's all about, all the talent and avenues and different things we got going. We're in a gold rush state that hasn't been tapped yet as far as entertainment on a global level. Right. Now, That's the best way I could put it. Entertainment on a global level, it is untapped. If the fuel here and there has leaked through the cracks and got the exposure in, in the United States, but it's time for the world to know Oklahoma is a ticking time bomb, uh, ready to explode with talent and gifts. 
an inspiration for the world. Uh, also, by the way, before we get out of here, shouts out to the U.S. women's soccer team. Uh, kudos on that, uh, up, on that win. Two-time champions. Did you think anything different was going to happen? They're straight dominating. Man. They are a dominating crew. Now, hey, thanks for trending with us. If you love Jill Scott, comment below. And this is the ITCAST. Stay tuned. For what's Google up with vision it. at Twitter, it casts at Twitter, and that guy WD3 underscore black guy. Hey, go check out my Instagram, WD3 Will the Black Guy. And we out.